Hey, what's going on guys? It is Undead, back again for the 22nd day of my 30 Days of Battlefront Challenge series, where every single day is a new topic, and today's topic, we're going to be talking all about my least favorite hero in the game. And this is one of the occasions where I'm glad this series is at the end of Battlefront 2015's life cycle, because we have seven heroes to choose from, instead of three that those that did the series when the game first started, you know, they only had three to choose from. Now we have seven, we have a lot of really awesome and iconic heroes to choose from nowadays, uh, but without the further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it and my second least favorite hero to play as in the game has definitely got to go to Leia um, this is nothing to do against her character overall but rather her kit in the game um, compared to people like Chewbacca and Luke and even Han in some cases um, Leia's kit especially especially in, in regular game modes like Walker Salt or Supremacy is extremely underwhelming um, and then the problem that Leia has is she get if she gets swarmed by either a vehicle like an ATST or if she gets swarmed by multiple stormtroopers all at once you know she's pretty much caught out in the open she has no really real you know she has no real means to escape that situation at all so she's pretty much gonna take either a ton of damage or she's gonna, just gonna flat out die if it's the case where you're caught out in the, out in the open and an ATSD is chasing you down. You don't really have an effective way to deal with that, um, and that's kind of the reason why I don't really like to play her as much. Um, in Heroes vs. Villains, it's a little bit better actually because in Heroes vs. Villains she's actually really important because in Heroes vs. Villains she's the only hero that can actually drop health, and in that case it's extremely useful. And I actually like playing her in Heroes vs. Villains. But her kit is all all the way around really useful and very you know has a very good utility to it. But in Walker Assault, like I said, you have the Trooper Bane, which is good for sniping enemies at far ranges. You have the Enhanced Squad Shield, which is essentially just a regular squad shield, just with a little bit more health uh, and more durability. And then you have the Strategic Resources ability, which just spawns a power-up for regular infantry, which, in, in my opinion, is a complete throwaway of an ability. I've never seen it, or I've never had an occurrence where that ability has come in handy or saved my life or anything. Um, you know, I can see it being, you know, crazy useful in those 1% situations where you drop it down, there's someone on you, a random ally comes up, grabs the power up, it turns out to be a smart rocket, and he uses a smart rocket to defend you. Situations like that, but honestly, that happens so little that it's just not even really considered, you know, it's not even negligible, essentially. You can't even really mention it. So for that reason, um, she's definitely my second least favorite hero to play. And moving on to my least favorite hero in the game to play, it's definitely gonna gonna have to go to my boy Lando, uh, which really pains me to say because I really love his character in Episode Five and Six. But overall, it's kind of the same problem that Leia has, which is the problem that you know in these big game modes, like um, I, most of the time. Let me let me preface this by saying I'm mostly talking in reference to. Uh, Supremacy and Walker Assault. I'm not really talking in regards to heroes versus villains too much, but in terms of Walker Assault and Supremacy, um, Lando struggles from the same things that Leia does in the fact that he doesn't really have an effective way to really clear out of a situation and escape. He he can't really either escape from a situation or he can't fight his way out of a situation. Essentially, you know, Chewbacca has his insane bowcaster ability that can just rip through Imperials. He's slow. But he can rip through all these Imperials just because of how much damage he puts out. And Luke can put out a lot of damage and kill a lot of enemies in one go with his Force Push and his Saber Rush. But he also can escape situations with his Saber Rush. So he has, he has the option of escape or he can stay and fight. Now Lando is the exact opposite. He has three abilities and all of them are very, for the most part, passive abilities. Besides the um, Power Blast. Which, when it was broken, was hilarious and actually made him useful. But now that the bug has been fixed, uh, his Power Blast is pretty underwhelming. It's like a very kind of underwhelming version of Han's Lucky Shot. It's a lot harder to use. And his second ability where he places down a Shocking Trap that kind of disguises itself as a hero pickup um, is very cool and it's a very original idea. But the problem is it's very passive. And unless some enemy runs into it, it's just going to sit there and do nothing for you. So essentially, it's a second ability that does absolutely nothing for you in, in the times of which you need it. And his third and final ability, which is the Disruption, is neat. But the uh, the underlying problem with the Disruption that Lando has is the animation time. It's the same problem that plagues uh, Luke and Darth Vader's Heavy Strike ability. Just because the animation, the time it takes for Lando to bring up his wrist and, you know, activate the disruption, by that time, 
all the damage that you're trying to avoid by using disruption, you've already gained because by that time you're using animation, you can't shoot. You you you're, you know your movement speed is limited to like a crawl, and you you pretty much by the time it's already said and done, you're already pretty much wasted. Um, so that that's kind of the reason why uh, I believe Lando is my least favorite hero to play in the game. But anyway, guys, that about does it for today's video. That is day 22 down with. We are now over two-thirds of the way through this series, and we are closing up on the launch of Battlefront 2, so I'm incredibly excited. But on that note, I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedbacks on the matter. What is your least favorite hero to play in the entire game? I'd love to know. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.